Welcome to the Teaching Bites Podcast. Here are your hosts, Fred and Sharon Jaravada. Sharon. Yup. So, luckily my voice is better now. I've been cough- I had a coughing fit the past 10 minutes and now it's all cleared out. Good. I wasn't sure if you're going to be able to make it. <laughs> well, I, I made it now. I made it now. All right. So cool. All right. So the question of the day. Now, I found this online, which is very interesting. And I mm-hmm. think I did talk about, it. I did mention it to you last week about this question. So should we ban private schools? Should private schools be illegal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did talk about it. Like you did ask me this last week. Yeah, but I didn't really get your, uh, your thoughts about this. However, let me get some backstory about this. This question. Yeah, go ahead. All yeah. right. So this question came out of uh, an or old uh, speech, or well, it came out like 2010, I believe. Um, the chancellor, the former chancellor of the Washington D.C. Um, district, um, the school, the school district there, uh, Michelle Rhee, controversial Michelle Rhee. Uh, she had a speech, uh, and she quoted, um, or she told the story that when she met Warren Buffett, the billionaire sage of Omaha, the super investor. So uh, when people, when he speaks, people listen. Um, but Michelle Reed was asking, excuse me, was asking Warren about how to solve public education. Mm-hmm. And I think, and this, he may have made us in jest, but he said to Michelle that make private schools illegal because, and his reasoning is, once you do that, all the wealthier families that go to private schools, right, especially the high-end private schools, they'll be forced into a lottery to go to a public school and that would, in turn, would would make the public schools listen, or let me see, let me would actually the wealthier families will demand more from these public schools. They will start be more uh, proactive. They're going to demand more um, funding. They're going to demand better teachers or better teacher training. They will demand more and things would happen faster. And, and, and the thought is that it will help all the, all the um, things that go into private schools will be put into public schools. So it's, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a really good solution to you solve think? this problem. You think That's so? That's what he's thinking. Well, I, I don't know if he did. He, he did. I mean, the articles I read online, um, he might have said it on in jest, you know, kind of like in a mm-hmm. passing thing. But he knows probably it, can't, it will never happen. Um, what do you think? But what what could be right? So, as a public school teacher, and I'm a private school teacher, I have never thought of that before. So when I think about having private schools illegal. Um, yeah, I do agree. Yes, it will. The parents will come through. Hey, I got all this money. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to get extra funding from funding. the companies. Right. Yeah. Like for extra teachers or supplies. Training, right. Yeah. You know, or better furniture, just stuff that we need. Because for me as a public school teacher, when I need something, it has to be justified and it depends. If I want to go to professional development, I can probably get the registration partially paid for. I Currently, to, right. Yeah, I have to pay my own fare or hotel. So I often just don't go to any of those because it costs more. Um, you know, there's paper and pencil, yes, but it may not be the best quality even or even tissue or paper. Or even the furniture. Old yeah, how, I, how, how old were your furniture in your, your classroom? Probably older than me, and I actually you're had 50 to. Fifty years old. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, not you. You're not fifty years uh, old, but the but the furniture yes. in your classroom was probably about fifty years old. Yeah, forty to fifty years old. Because when yeah. I walk in your classroom, it looked like the exact same as furniture when, you went when to I school. went to public school. And I had to, I had to, you know, write a grant through Donors Choose to get these cool chairs. 
because I was tired of my kids sitting in these broken chairs. And, you know, I'm always trying to find good deals on, oh, look at Target has a deal on this and that. I know for you, if you need something, whether it's, it's support to get, yes. re- or p- PD mm-hmm. and you have good reason, you pretty much can get what you need. Right. And you have K through four. I know you guys have. It's not a big mm-hmm. war. I mean, we definitely no. think about it, but it's not in a, a level of worry like like the public school teachers, right? Like yeah. You guys, yeah. And y- you, you, guys, yeah. you have, you guys, K through four have teaching assistants. Mm-hmm. Like that's. The ratio awesome. is lower in, a, <laughs> in the independent private school. It's lower. Yeah. Right? So, so they're con- they're pros to this this mm-hmm. idea, right? Um, but as a as for the so, as a teacher, you see the pros. But as a teacher, also, what a, what would be the cons? You think? Oh, I could see the total division of class. You know, like the school, these are right. the wealthier parents versus the not so wealthy. Right. And um, I kind of see that in a way already, mm-hmm. you know, it, it would probably just be more pronounced, mm-hmm. you know, like the, the parents at my school that can, um, they have the time to volunteer or the time to give when we do our auction versus the parents that are working two jobs and they don't have time to contribute. So there'll be you know? a power play, you would think, more more of a power play between could, the parents, right? Yeah, and it could be really, really uh, tense. It can be tense. Or yeah. it could be if the tone is set right by leadership, it can be something beautiful too, mm-hmm. where the we learn from each other, and then we come to the middle, you know, in terms of like our perspective on. And and that may be the other, con, that may be the know? pro because they can be a pro too because of how it may turn around a school and it may have a, again, it depends on the, the leadership and, and, and the goals of the the, uh, the parents and the teachers mm-hmm. for the students. The pros can, the goal, the main goal is to make the school better for all the kids, right? Yeah. Get mm-hmm. the best for the kids, right? And But I, yeah. I see your point that, that, the, it doesn't work that uh, as smoothly as it sounds, right? There's always like a fi- there's a dynamic that can raise its ugly head, and and things can you know we're all human, and people's feelings get stepped on. Or hey, I I can I have this. I'm the CEO of a tech company, mm-hmm. and I demand this, right? Right. Yeah, and you know, growing up in a very uh, wealthy suburb, my parents, you know. Um, weren't as wealthy as a lot of my classmates. So when mm-hmm. I grew up, I saw my classmates getting BMWs for their 16th birthday. They had pagers. I don't have any of that. Mm-hmm. So I felt like, in a way, I could I could have been like, I mean, of course, I was envious, but sometime I was like, oh, well, too bad. I am confident who I am. So it made me who I am today, I feel like. So you know? students, that's good for you, yeah. but the maturity level of the students is also in key, in, in important here yes right will they take will they be jealous of like the other kids getting jordans every week and so on yeah. you know 200 dollars jordans and lebron shoes but i think right? that's a culture that the school has to set mm-hmm. and that's maybe actually uniforms, part of real maybe, life too maybe uniforms yeah might play in right um and i was i was just imagining imagine this is year one right like this mm-hmm. all, just all got integrated right it would be a big shock but eventually, even 15, 20 years down the line, it'll be such a norm. What if hopefully the good stuff will be a norm that maybe looking back, you're like leadership or teachers, parents might think this is cool. You know, this is this is this is what we needed mm-hmm. for this long. Yep. You know. So that's that's definitely pros cons there. Another thing that um, I credit, you know, Michelle Reese, she's she she's pretty controversial and there are a lot of policies. I don't like what she did also at Washington DC. Um but did she she did mention that she did not like the idea of banning or making private schools illegal. Um she said that and I'm remembering this by memory, um that she believes in a partnership between a public school and a private school well, they work together, and mm. I think one of the biggest things that they do work together is that um, public schools and private schools, they would work to have like summer school mm. for public school kids in the in the private school buildings. 
Mm. And I've, I've seen okay. that. Yeah. So yeah. and that happens in my school. Um, so I, I see the partnership there, but also having kids, um, other kids volunteer, like uh, the older kids volunteer in the public schools also. That works too. I was going to say, you need to have some interaction too. You got to have that interaction. Go to a field trip together, do some service work together. Right. You know. So yeah, so that's an interesting uh, thought. If you know, um, should private schools be illegal? Right. Well, I also was thinking about public school because right now, you know, of course we get funded from um, state and stuff like that, and you know it, we have budget cuts, right? Mm-hmm. So would the state not step up as much? Well, would their property tax have to be lower. Well, well, like, this is where the the wealthier parents come in. They're the lobbyists. They're the super delegates. They're the delegates. They're the ones voting for these politicians in. So obviously, the politicians will have to listen to like the local, the listen, the congressmen, the senators, the president, whatever. They will listen to the private donors. They will listen to the super PACs. So that, that's help advantageous. And usually, always, yeah. they are sending their kids to private schools, right? Those mm-hmm. super PACs and super delegates or delegates. So they will have to push their uh, they'll lobby they'll lobby these um, public officials into better funding. And it'll help. It'll help us ultimately have a louder voice. You know. Yeah, but it has to be very careful. If that ever happens, it has to be done very carefully. They have to set the the culture, the tone of the culture of the mm-hmm. the respect between the ha- uh, the wealthier uh, folks and the uh, not so wealthy folks. Mm-hmm. You know, and making sure that um, the kids are exposed minimally to that, Minim- minimally exposed to that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Should they see that? I don't know. I mean, that's a real life thing. I don't know. It depends on the age level, I think. Yeah, and it depends. right. You know, kids pick up things. Right. They're, we don't want you know. to raise. We don't want to want to raise kids that are envious. That already happens already, and we don't want to magnify that. Right. Good parent, you know. But yeah, I could. I mean, I could see that being something. Gosh, if on my in my opinion, would you do it? Would you vote cool. for that? Pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, you know, you're I have to. We have to try. Maybe, maybe it could be like a trial, like a pilot with one school, and a, a couple city. schools or a district. Like I think San that Francisco would, here, our hometown, of San Francisco. I think that, I think that would be. <laughs> I think that'd be too hard for a pilot. <laughs> we got, we got these, eighty schools. If all these tech companies and bankers start mm-hmm. sending their kids to uh, public schools, that would be interesting. Because it is, it is uncomfortable for the private schools parents that bring their school to public now, with, so the, with these with these um, CEOs CFOs and so on would they send would they even vote for that probably not I don't know right I don't know uh, well that but if you make that illegal that have to that would have to start but at they will what not level? vote they will not vote for that candidate or that yeah governor. so then maybe it won't even get there anyway because of the power yeah, but who exactly. knows I don't know how, how maybe, all that starts maybe you need a petition, right, to start. You could pilot this in a small mm-hmm. environment. Try it out. But it's not going to work in every state, in every city. It's not going to work like that. No. So, But it'll be an, it's an interesting thought experiment. I mean, I'm, I don't even know about other countries. They, I'm sure they have public and private schools. Right? Um, I might have read somewhere, one of the Scandinavians, uh, they don't have private schools. I may be wrong with that. If you guys know, or listeners, if you know, Please uh, correct me with that, um, but I think I read another one. Of this kind of means Denmark, oh, okay. Finland. They don't have private schools. You know what reminds me of charter schools. Right. It's kind of like an in between. Yes, in between one exactly. So you know. Well, they're gonna have because they get they get private funding, so they're gonna have to, um, and they get private public funding. public funding yeah, too. Also, so, so that's where will they fall? Right. They would, I think they will have to revert back to full public school, or public schools will start running like. Charter schools. Hmm. Yeah. And that's another another episode. No, I'm right. not gonna talk about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. folks. All right. All right, well, guys. See you soon. If you like the show, please subscribe, leave an honest message, uh an honest rating, and uh let us know if you have any questions. Let us know what you think about this whole topic. Email at us email us at Fred at teachingbytes.com. And Sharon at teachingbytes.com. Thank you for listening. This has been great. Yeah. All right, folks. See you okay. later. Bye. Peace. Thank you for listening to the Teaching Bites podcast at www.teachingbites.com.